Good day everyone! My name is Nicole Andrea Flores from 10 Years Up and today we will discuss about Geometric Sequence or Series These are sequences that follow a pattern of multiplying from one term to the next term. The number that binds each sequence together is called the common ratio. Ang common ratio ay ang ginagamit nating pang multiply. Mamaya, malalaman natin kung paano ito makukuha. Para makuha natin yung hinahanap na term, gagamitin natin ang formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Kung saan, n is the number of terms, r is the common ratio, a sub 1 is the first term, and a sub n is the n term. Mamaya, makikita natin sa examples ang mga yan. Example number 1. Determine the common ratio in 4, 12, 36, and 108. Sa example na ito, ang first term ay 4, at ang second term ay ang 12, and so on. Para makuha natin yung common ratio, kailangan natin i-divide yung second term to the first term, bali yung 12 tsaka 4, o kaya yung third to the second term, bali yung 36 tsaka 12, or fourth term sa third term, and so on. So, try na natin kunin yung common ratio nila. Bale, r is equals to 12 divided by 4, 36 divided by 12, is equals to 108 divided by 36, is equals to 3. Mahalaga din ang pagkuha ng common ratio dahil masisigurado natin kung symmetric sequence pa talaga yung given. Example number 2. Find the 8th term of the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, and 24. Una nating hanapin ay ang common ratio. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Sunod is yung n, kung saan n is equal to 8. Laging 8 ang n dahil yun yung pinapahanap sa problem. Laging tatandaan kung ano ang pinapahanap ayun ang n kasi katulad rin ang sinabi kanina n is the number of term a sub 1 is equals to 3 yung r n tsaka a sub 1 yun yung kakailangan nat kakailanganin natin para masolve yung n term given the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 isubstitute na natin a sub 8 is equals to 3 times 2 raised to 8 minus 1. So, 8 minus 1 is equals to 7. Evaluate natin yung exponent. So, 2 raised to 7 is equal to 128. Kailangan pa natin ito ay multiply sa 3. So, a sub 8 is equals to 384. Next example. Find the 10th term of the geometric sequence if the 2nd and 6th terms are 15 and 1,215 respectively. Sa example na ito, mas mahirap siya dahil hindi given yung buong sequence niya. So, wala yung a sub 1. Sa problem na ito, ang given lamang ay a sub 2 is equals to 15, a sub 6 is equals to 1,215, at ang hinahanap ay ang a sub 10. Para mahanap po na natin yung a sub 1 o yung first term at ang common ratio, substitute natin yung mga given sa formula. So, fifteen is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to 1. Next. 1,215 is equals to a sub 1 times r raised to 5. One thousand two hundred fifteen is equals to a sub one times r raised to five divided by fifteen is equals to a sub one times r raised to one. 
is equal to cancel same terms. So, 1215 divided by 15 is equal to 81. R raised to 5 divided by R raised to 1. Papasok dito yung law of exponents. Kaya, R is raised to 4. So, para mahanap natin ang common ratio, kailangan natin umisip ng number na kapag ni raised to 4 ay equal to 81. Makakatulong ito upang makancel na yung exponent na 4. So, 3 raised to 4 is equals to r raised to 4. Cancel yung exponent or the same terms. Kaya, ang common ratio ay 3. Ngayon, nahanapin naman natin yung first term. Yung mga nakuha nating mga values, isasubstitute ulit natin siya sa formula. Tulad nito. Para makuha natin yung first term, divide both sides by 3. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Cancel same terms. So, a sub 1 is equals to 5. Ngayon, kompleto na yung mga kailangan. So, substitute na natin sila sa formula at evaluate. So, A sub 10 is equal to 98,415. Another example. Determine the indicated term on the geometric sequence negative 4, 8, negative 16, 32, negative 64, down to the 28th term. Ulitin lang natin yung process na ginawa kanina. So, A sub 28 is equals to 536 million 870,912. Next topic, Geometric Series. The Geometric Series is S sub N is equals to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to N divided by 1 minus R, where R is not equal to 1. So, ang Geometric Series ay ang sum of Geometric Sequence. Sample number 5. Find the sum of the geometric sequence 2, 10, 50, 250, and 1,250. Kunin natin ulit yung mga kailangan na value o yung terms. Substitute natin ang mga ito sa formula ng geometric series. So, S sub 5 is equal to 1,562. Another example. Find the sum of the first 8 terms of the sequence 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on. Uli din lang natin yung process na ginawa natin kanina. is equals to 2040. Last example. 